Highlands, I think, is of great importance because of its location. It's a fantastic small town, gives people a chance to really get back to nature, wonderful amenities, fantastic golf, fly fishing, hiking, camping. Highlands has all these restaurants, all these amazing restaurants that, that fine dining, casual dining, you know, we have five Wine Spectator award-winning restaurants in this town. It, I think that bodes very well for what we've been able to accomplish in this town as, as a culinary destination. We love Highlands, first of all, because of the temperature and the shopping and the restaurants and the good wine, and there's always something to do. Opening night is at Pine Street Park. The restaurants are all there serving food. You have uh, uh, all sorts of wine distributors, wine importers. After that, every, uh, every event is at specific venues. And so you have all these places doing all these different dinners, all these different events. People sign up and they go to different events at different times, different days. The attraction to mountain golf is the beauty. Playing in the mountains is like a fine wine. I think that they've gotten better with, with time. Offering elevation changes, spectacular conditioning. We've got a mild temperature. We've got bent grass greens. They're fast, not only with the mowing height, but also the undulation on the greens. And it just makes for something that's not seen in the flatlands. We've already been this morning to the oxen pool. We've taken our walk, we've been shopping, and now we're headed to the barbecue. We love Highlands. The Bascom Louise Gallery was started back in the mid 80s. A uh, bequest was made uh, by a family uh, that got it started. The decision was made for the Bascom to seek a new home uh, because it had outgrown its space. Uh, so we began a search and found this wonderful piece of property that's the Crane Stables property. It's been the stables in Highlands for over 75 years. And the old barn was very treasured by the people in the community and they asked us to preserve it. So we have recreated it on top of the hill as our pottery and sculpture studio. And I met a person from Franklin named Wayne Yance who specialized in uh, moving barns and rebuilding things. Wayne also had an opportunity to find out about this wonderful covered bridge, the Bagley Bridge from Warner, New Hampshire. It's the second oldest covered bridge in the United States. Literally this whole bridge has been built by three people with the use of pulleys and ratchets, levers. When you come across the covered bridge and you come into the shaggy natural meadow, you really know that you're in a different world. When I come to Highlands, I feel like I've returned to something important, something simple, something pure. The Nature Center does all sorts of programs with kids, teaching them about the, the, the flora and the fauna of the area and, and salamanders and that kind of stuff. And There's so many things for the kids to look at and touch. We read about these things in the books and now we can come and see them in the museum. And we love the trail out there. They get to just make their way. Uh, this area in particular is a temperate rainforest. Um, the official elevation of Highlands is 4,118 feet. If you stand on top of Sunset Rock, you can see how we're settled in a little bowl in the mountains up on this plateau. What's so neat about it is the flora around here, the big trees, just all the plants that grow and of course the cool weather. Visitors 200 years ago, what they saw when they, they moved through this area and how it's changed and what's still here, those plants that they saw that we can still find here now. When the two founders came, they found more or less a primeval forest, but they carved the town out of that forest and it's uh, a botanical paradise. Stan Oak W. Hill settled here in 1838, and the reason he came here, he was a member of the militia. They liked this area so well, the Horse Cove, that they, they decided to settle here and set it up as, as a somewhat of a resort area. So he built some uh, guest cottages down there, and uh, he would rent them out in the summertime. When Kelsey and Hutchinson came and set up a settlement here, uh, they found the hills here already, uh, a number of other people in the area, uh, but they, they set up a town and then began to invite people from all over. He um, knew Kelsey and Hutchison, worked with them on establishing Highlands. They, in fact, talked him into running for mayor, and he, in, in fact, was the first mayor of uh, Highlands. His son, Frank Hill, he helped build a lot of the old buildings that are still standing uptown. 
here at Old Edwards Inn, there's a wonderful sense of history dating back to 1878 when it was first opened as the Central House, which was a boarding home built by John, Mr. John Norton. In the mid-1900s, they added another building, which was um, Edwards Hotel. Someone once asked, what is the architecture of Highlands? I think the advantage of Highlands is it doesn't have an architecture. Every building is different. I think what attracts many people here is not what we have, but what we don't have that people love.